Hello everybody, my name is Suman Dua. I'm a registered migration agent based in Brisbane, Australia. In this video today, I will be talking about the points table for the 188A and 188B visa. So these are the business visas and there are two streams in 188 visa which have uh, which are points tested which means that you have to meet a minimum threshold of 65 points so in this video today i will be explaining you in detail about each of the factors um, that will come into consideration when you are claiming points we have already made a video about the 188a visa which is the business innovation stream we will put the link in the description and soon we will be making a video about the 188b which is the investor stream and in that visa as well you need to meet a minimum threshold of 65 points also please note that some states do require you to have higher points but as long as you've got 65 points you will meet the minimum eligibility to be able to lodge your expression of interest in the skill select system so the first main factor where you do get points is for your age so i'm actually now putting a table on the screen which um, you can refer to to calculate the points for your age so you do get maximum points if you are between the age of 33 and 40 where you do get 25 points so you can claim points up to the age of 55 so as long as you haven't turned 55 at the time of invite you can claim 15 points so the next factor where you can claim points is for your English language qualifications. So if you've got IELTS 5 each, then you will be able to claim 5 points. And if you have got IELTS 7 each, then you will be able to get 10 points for your English capabilities. So the next factor where you can claim points is for your educational qualifications. So as long as you've done a trade qualification, a diploma or a bachelor's degree in Australia, then you will be able to claim five points. And also if that bachelor's degree that you have done is from another country, but it is of a recognized standard, then you can claim five points. However, you will need to check in the country education profile to see if your bachelor's degree is of recognized standard. So usually a registered migration agent can help you to identify if your qualification is equivalent to an Australian qualification and if you can claim those five points. Also note here if that bachelor's degree is in business, science or technology by an Australian educational institution or it is, of, it is from an institution which is of a recognized standard, then you can claim 10 points. Again, you will have to check in the country education profile if your degree is of recognized standard. A registered migration agent will be able to help you in that. Also, you cannot claim points for both of these factors. What I mean by that is, if you've got a bachelor's degree, in business science or technology you can only claim 10 points not 10 plus 15 if you are applying under the business innovation stream which is 188a then you will get points for your business experience qualification so if you're somebody who's got four years of experience in the last five years you will get 10 points and if you're someone who's got about seven years of experience in the last eight years you will get 15 points. Again, you can only claim points for either the four years experience or the seven years, not both. If you are interested to apply for the 188B, which is the investor stream visa, then you also need to have investor experience qualification. So if you have held an eligible investment, which had a value of uh, at least Australian 100,000, for at least four years then you will get 10 points and if you've held that investment which had a value of Australian 100,000 for at least seven years then you will get 15 points again note that you have to have held that investment immediately before the time of the invitation so for both 18a and 188b you will get points for your financial assets so the financial assets is the combination of the net value of the business and personal assets so it could be the assets of yourself of your spouse or partner or it could be your assets together and as long as you've got the assets of Australian 800,000 in each of the two fiscal years immediately before the time of invitation then you will get five points if you've got these assets uh, which are equivalent to Australian 1.3 million then in that case you will get 15 points and if it is for 1.8 million dollars 
in each of the two fiscal years immediately before the time of invitation then you will get 25 points and if the net value of these assets is Australian 2.25 million then you will get 35 points. For these visa subclasses you also get points for your business turnover. So if your business turnover is Australian 500,000 in the last two years of the four fiscal years then you will get five points. If your turnover has been uh, at least one million dollars Australian one million dollars in at least two of the four fiscal years then you will get 15 points and if the turnover is Australian 1.5 million then you will get 25 points and if it's two million dollars then you will get 35 points now businesses are also eligible to get points for their business innovation qualification so what it means is if you're someone who's got a registered patent or a registered design which was registered for at least one year and you were also using that registered patent or registered design in the day-to-day -day activities of the main business then you will be eligible to claim 15 points if you or your main business had one or more registered trademarks which were registered for at least one year and you were using it in the day-to-day -day activities of the main business in that case you will get 10 points if you had at least one business in which uh, the applicant which means yourself had an ownership interest operated in accordance with a formal joint venture agreement entered into with another business or businesses and the joint venture agreement had been entered into not less than one year before the time of invitation to apply for the visa the applicant utilized his or her skills in actively participating at a senior level in the day-to-day -day management of the business so if you meet all these requirements then you can claim five points if your main business drived about 50% of its annual turnover from export trade in at least two of the four fiscal years, then you will be able to claim 15 points. If you had an ownership interest in one of the main businesses which was established uh, not more than five years ago, so it was a new business but it had an annualized growth in turnover which was greater than 20% per annum over three continuous fiscal years and you had employed at least 10 full-time staff, in that case you are eligible to get 10 points. So the reason for that is because your business has actually gone through such a great um, growth in such a short time. So the department is happy to give you 10 points in this, in this case. If your main business received a grant from the government body in your uh, home country, this is uh, for the purposes of early phase startup of a business, product commercialization, business development or business expansion um, or you had received a venture capital funding of at least Australian 100,000 not more than four years before the time of invitation uh, for the purposes of early phase startup of a business, product commercialization, business development or business expansion. In that case you can claim 10 points. There are also points for special endorsement qualification. However, to get these 10 points, the nominating state or territory government agency uh, will be giving you these 10 points if they think that the business that is being proposed by you is of unique, is unique and um, is providing some important benefit to the state or territory. So these are all the attributes where you can claim points and like I mentioned before you do need a minimum of 65 points to be able to lodge your expression of interest in the skill select system. Also please note that some states have their own requirements and they may need higher points. So if you are somebody who is interested in applying for a business visa in Australia, please feel free to get in touch with us. To stay updated about Australia's immigration, make sure that you subscribe to our channel.